What's up, Virgo? Reach out for one-on-one reading, $2 a minute. All my info is in the description box below on the website, runningcontero.com. Feel free to like, share, follow on the YouTube page, leave a comment, share with a loved one, friends, family, if you think they'd take this content. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, Tumblr, all that stuff. I'm um, just looking at the astrological chart. Virgo rules over the sixth house, so if you're not a Virgo, or if, even if you are a Virgo, feel free to apply this to your sixth house, uh, which represents health, fitness, um, systems in your life, uh, analytical nature, pets, work habits, organization, sense of usefulness, or service given. Um, if you are a Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or wherever on your planetary chart you want to, feel free to apply this um, reading to... Or again, if you're just passing by, feel free to take this for yourself as well. Timeless. Uh, this has been recorded July 1st, 2021. Um, I have a Virgo rising. I'm a Virgo rising. But I'm also going to apply this to my sixth house in astrology. Health, fitness, systems, analytical nature, pets, work habits, organization, sense of usefulness, service, given, spirit of gratitude, joy, Light and love, highest possible messages at this time for Virgo and six house um, in general. Let's see. Yeah, I hope you guys have been doing good. Just watering the YouTube channel a little bit. Like I said, feel free to reach out for one on one reading. Um, Check out the website, all that good stuff. Okay, Queen of Wands in reverse. There could be some jealousy, some envy um, coming through. Um, okay. Page of Wands in the reverse. There's seemingly this sense of directionless or somebody could be feeling that way towards you like you could be making them uneasy uh, but you're giving birth to something grand you're giving birth to something big here uh, with the empress in reverse um, very cool So although it may seem that, you know, and the Empress in reverse is going through labor. So although it may seem that something's not coming from your efforts, it's soon to be coming. Uh, the Hierophant in the upright is an institution that you could be working with or a, a framework, um, a system, as mentioned in the astrological sixth house, something that you're operating within. Framework, an institution, a system could be the, the tarot system. You know, it is a system. Um, or music or, you know, what, or institutions, uh, university. So whatever you've been kind of laboring, uh, there's something going to come from it. Uh, there's seemingly some conflict with the Hierophant. Um, it's kind of like, you know, tried and true, like testing your, your, your uh, what you're made of, testing your metal, uh, so to speak. Um, M E D D L E metal, um, <clears throat> as opposed to M E T A L. Uh, so yeah, I mean, what you're made of. Um, I feel as though some reward will be reaped. Uh, you know, some fruit will be will be uh, reaped here. Okay, so not to fear. I, I say keep on going down the path that you're going, Virgo. Um, I know sometimes things have to be an uphill battle. If you're used to one way versus another. Uh, there's a sense of moral victory, moral pride, a personal victory. Maybe you're striking out on your own. Uh, you know, Frank, Frank Sinatra, I did it my way type energy, but nonetheless... Eight of Cups in the reverse, uh, you didn't walk away. And in this context, typically the Eight of Cups in reverse can be read as being stuck. But in this context, I'm reading it as you didn't give up, you, you didn't walk away from what you try to start uh, constructing here. 
You may have turned cold to it with the Queen of Cups in reverse. Uh, it may have fallen out off of your priority list. But nonetheless, you're kind of holding back onto it now. Okay, you're gonna you're possibly gonna try to integrate it more in the mix of of your time. Okay. Let's see. The Emperor in reverse here. Filling out of your elements, out of your power, maybe a little bit tyrannical at times. But I think you're seeing things for what they are. I think the more in tune to your spirituality the more self-aware you become, the more you're kind of catching your worrisome tendencies or your over-analytical tendencies as a Virgo, your approach. Okay, maybe having kept your world small even with the Two of Wands in reverse, okay? Not having foresight due to possibly looking at the past too much. I feel as though this chapter has uh, come to a complete. The two of wands in the reverse offsetting the nine of wands in the upright. And so now you're left as kind of being empowered and being able to fight for uh, what you believe in and what you've, what you've uh, created. Ten of cups in reverse. I'm kind of interpreting this as someone not seeing the vision. Okay, it's not all harmony. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. Uh, but, you know, you've had to kind of carve it out with uh, this Ten of Pentacles card in the upright. It wasn't easily earned. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Um, that is the Virgo card, the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. So... Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Again, yeah, you may have been out of work or you may not have been working on a skill or a craft. Okay, but when you do get back into it, it's going to ensure the King of Pentacles in the upright. It's uh, financial stability, stability of resources. It did it or, or, or um, will require your kind of internal discipline and strength. Nine of Pentacles in the upright, financial freedom, freedom of resources, but... Again, when you kind of put effort, you have the raw power, but when you kind of narrow it and, and put it in the right direction, it's like a laser beam, and I think you're going to hit your mark, Virgo. Um, I think a lot of it was like seeing what your usefulness is now um, and what you're able to do and what you're willing to do. Uh, a lot of the energies that I was picking up on pertain to going back and continuing working on something that was previously formed or previously existing, um, as opposed to something just completely brand new. Um, having the internal strength and discipline to be able to tend to something that probably fell off of your priority list to go back to it. Confidence, knowing what you want, Previous goals that may have fell wayside is what I'm getting, Virgo. Okay, death card in the reverse, having a rebirth in them. Very cool. Yep, picking up, moving forward. There you go. Leading to fun in the sun, sunshine, happiness, fifth house, Leo. You could even go as far as saying that if you kind of pick up what you dropped off and start working on it consistently by Leo season, that's like three weeks time from the date of this recording, July 1st, 2021. But again, feel free to apply this to you when you come across this. Um, it could be though that Come Leo season, you're going to see an uptick in uh, in your results um, or return on investment, so to speak. 
So very cool reading, Virgo. I think you're on the right path. Um, a lot of this is kind of realizing what fell wayside and, and picking up those goals and remembering why you're in it and having these little golden nuggets to, to chase for. But ultimately, whatever it is that you're working on or doing, knowing that it is useful and it is of service. Um, I think a lot of this reading pertained to uh, that which you were willing to do. Versus the mindset of, you know, having to do something. Okay. There's a big difference. Uh, hence, kind of going back and watering something or growing, working on something that was previously established as opposed to starting something completely from scratch out of just sheer desperation or necessity. So that's what I see here, Virgo. Feel free to like, share, follow, leave a comment, thumbs up, share, reach out for a one on one reading, only $2 a minute, or if you just want to. Shoot the shit. Um, reach out. All right, Virgo. Love you lots. Peace.